No, they weren't. <laughs> Giggling, maybe. Oh, well. Maybe a chortle. One or two <laughs> chortles. Well, you sure know how to make me feel better. Thank you. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I got you. <laughs> okay. There we go. Ow, ow. You know, I don't think... You worry about your reputation as a skier. <laughs> I think you just have to work on getting on and off the chairlift. Oh, shut up. Ooh, it hurts. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Thank there you go. It's just a twisted ankle. There we go. Yeah. Nothing to worry about. In fact, I predict that you'll be back on the slopes first thing tomorrow morning. Yeah, on the bunny hill. Well, you'll just have to wear a mask so no one will recognize you. <laughs> I ruined your whole afternoon. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. With this ankle, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to make it to the slopes tomorrow. <sighs> well, if you can't, I'll just have to keep you company. We'll just have to stay in bed all day long and make love. Watch CNN. <laughs> no. I know how much you like skiing. I don't want you to miss it. You're right. I've skied all my life, and it's definitely in my blood. But um, this trip has already been... Worthwhile. I hope that canary you ate doesn't spoil your dinner. Are you kidding? A little canary only increases my appetite. <laughs> now, do you really think that Senator Kensington is going to cooperate? I mean, he's a very powerful man. He may not exactly submit to your offer. Well, I think he'll definitely put up a fight, but uh, he'll fold in the end. What's so amusing? I'm just recalling the look on his face when we ran into him. <laughs> I'd give anything to see his expression when he listens to that tape. What's wrong? Nothing. I thought you liked my business style. <laughs> it's strictly business, baby. You know that. We're winners. Yeah. Winners. says you have to ski on a ski vacation? Not me. Well, there are so many other things to do. Name one. Make love. Mm. Name another one. Make love again. Name another one. <laughs> Name another one. I'm probably the last person you expected to see or wanted to. It's all right. Uh, please come in. And you're not exactly someone I want to see either. It's just that we need to talk. Jenny, this is about Ned and me. No, I didn't come here to talk about your affair with my husband. It's not an affair. You and Ned are legally separated. That's right, Julia. Ned and I are finished, so I really don't give a damn if you're together. Really? Why don't I believe that? <sighs> I don't care what you believe. I'm here about a tape. Tape? Come on, Julia, you know all about it. Just like you know about the affair that I had with Senator Kensington when I was 16. Is it coming back to you now? All right, why do we have to discuss all of this? We have to do it right now? Yes, we do. We really need to talk about it. You see, I know that Ned has a tape of the senator and I discussing that affair, and I know that he is blackmailing the senator into getting a Senate committee to help you two get an airline. Jenny, this isn't something that you and I should be discussing. Yes, it is. Because the bottom line is, I'm here to beg you to stop Ned from using that tape. Julia, 
It wasn't easy for me to come here. I'm sure that it wasn't, but I really don't know what you think I should do. I need your help. And I'm not leaving here until I have it. Jenny, I don't feel comfortable talking about that tape. It's really between you and Ned. No, it isn't. And not anymore. Julia, I'm begging you. Ned won't talk to me. He's too angry. I really don't think you have anything to worry about, okay? That's all I can Why? Say. I mean, and do you tell you say. something? Julia, tell me. What did he say? You know what kind of businessman Ned is just as well as anyone. He knows what he's doing. He said no one would get hurt. No one's gonna get hurt? Listen, not only is he gonna destroy Senator Kensington's career, but he is gonna drag my name through every tabloid in the country. Jenny, I would help you if I could, but I, I really, I sincerely believe that you have nothing to worry about. Besides, I can't control what Ned does. Aren't you in on this airline deal together? Yes, but I'm handling the finance. It's Ned that's handling politics. And you don't care how dirty he gets? You just close your eyes? Julia, this is something that you could stop if you wanted to. There is nothing to stop. Jenny, the only way Ned can make sure that he won't have to use that tape is to make sure everybody believes he will. Well, I believe that he will. But if you don't, you're a fool. Then I'm a fool. Julia, we used to be friends. I mean, not that that counts for much anymore, but... I mean, are you willing to stand by and let two more lives be ruined? Hasn't that tape done enough damage? Think about it. It's already ruined two marriages. Julia, I... Well, well, well. If it isn't the lying tramp herself. What are you doing here, Jenny? I'm here about that tape, Ned. Ah, uh, yes. The tape. You're blackmailing Senator Kensington with it. And I asked Julia to ask you to stop. But I'll ask you. Ask away. Don't use that tape, Ned. Read my lips. Try and stop me. I can't believe that you would stoop this low. You should also give the senator a message and tell him time is running out. You're really out to destroy him, aren't you? This is strictly a business proposition. I get the airline and he gets to keep his career. And what about me? Oh, yes, we can't forget about you, can we? I can just see you headlining the 6 o'clock news, not to mention the tabloids. I can't believe I married somebody this cruel. You're going to be a big hit in the supermarkets. I knew this wasn't about business, Ned. It's about revenge. You can't forgive me for what happened. And now you'll do anything to get back at me. All I want is that airline. You should know that by now. And you should also know that a quarter main stops at nothing till he gets what he wants. This is really what makes you happy, isn't it? No matter who it hurts. I think you should tell your um, cradle-robbing boyfriend to cooperate, and then we'll all be happy, okay? You're worse than cruel, Ned. You're ruthless. Why did it take me so long to see that? I must have been blind. wasn't the nicest thing you've ever done. Well, I'm not trying to be nice. I'm trying to get us an airline. But is it worth all the pain we're causing? Do we or do we not want an airline? We do, but Ned... Do you realize how much money we're going to make with that airline? I do. And we know what the bottom line is, don't we? Look... To get what we want. But do we have to hurt Jenny? I mean, more than we already have? If your conscience is bothering you, it's a little too late. The threat is on the table. The next move is Kensington's. Look, I don't mean to doubt you, Ned. I know you've done your homework. <sighs> Kensington's gonna come through for us, right? Right. In fact, he's obviously already on the run. That's why I sick Jenny after you. <sighs> it almost worked. She begged me to stop you. But I don't need to, right? Right. <laughs> we are so close to nailing this guy. You just hang in there, baby. Stay strong. We're gonna get everything we want. 
Hello. Mother? I knew you wouldn't mind my barging in. Would it matter if I did? I need to speak to my son. Oh, by all means. I'll see you later. It'd just be a minute. It's always Thank a pleasure, you. Tracy. Kensington has nothing to worry about. Trust me. Ooh, trust is a tough one for me, but I'll work on it for you. Good. Because what I'm doing is the only way. Ned, how nice to see you. And you. Well, if it isn't Port Charles's answer to Madonna. And not knocking, as usual. Hey, did I interrupt anything here? No, no, nothing at all. I was just on my way out. Mm -hmm. Don't leave on account of me. Wouldn't think of it. I'll talk to you later. All right. Bye. Bye. <sighs> he is so tasty. What's wrong? I'll tell you what's wrong. Ultimately, it is that damn tape. Tape? Oh, the tape that brought you and Ned together. No, Elvis's greatest hits, you know what tape uh, I mean. <laughs> what's wrong now? What? Oh, nothing. Just a little blackmail. Oh, blackmail. Geez, for a second I thought it was something serious. This is serious. Like... This involves Jenny, who I've already heard enough, thanks to somebody in this room. Oh, great. Blame it on me, as usual. Hey. Wow, you are really taking this seriously. Yeah, I am. And when are you going to start to take it seriously? How many people have to get hurt? How many marriages have to get ruined, huh? How many times are you going to yell at me about this? As many times as it takes. <sighs> Look, if they broke up over this situation, they were going to break up somewhere along the line anyways. Hey, at least you have someone to wake up to now, huh? I don't even think you really intended for all of this to happen. Julia, are you with Ned? Yes. Are you happy? I give up. I give up on you. You know, deep down, I think you really like the fact that I was looking out for you. See you for dinner. Okay, I'll call you later. Oh, I think I just lost my appetite. Oh, Ned, Ned, come on, Mr. Hey, wait, 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 one minute. Let's go. Jenny, I was curious. Have you had a chance to uh, talk to the senator? He's not going to sit still while you blackmail him, Ned. That much I do know. Well, that remains to be seen. He has a lot to lose, and so do you. Do you and your partner in crime really need the airline that bad, Ned? Bad enough to ruin my life, Jenny. I tried to explain. I don't want to hear it, Julia. Because I can't even believe that you were ever my friend. Leave Julia out of this, all right? She had nothing to do with it. Right. And what about you, Ned? You're even worse. How could I have ever thought that I was in love with you? You've got the morals of a snake. <laughs> Look who's lecturing me on morals. Oh, you bet a I proven am. liar, a teeny bopper who go. couldn't let's say no. Let's talk about that's enough, no, that's Pretty boy, get no, out of no, my no, come face. On. This isn't going to accomplish anything. Let's go. All right. I'll probably take you up on that. <laughs> Dominique! Just the supermodel I'm looking for. Hey, Julia, what's going on? I'll talk to you later. Okay. I Wait. have so much work to do. I want to show you all of my great new ideas for the new deception line this spring. Um, Julia, I think maybe that better wait. Excuse me? I need to talk to you. Well, don't look so serious. <laughs> you think you've got troubles, you should hear about the day I've had. I'm sorry. What is it? Well, it's... It's not good. 